Hello and welcome. This is Diamond Fernandez from the HeartFit Clinic. And today what I want to talk to you about is do you really need a heart stent? And uh, I think that's a common question I get. And really there's three obviously big questions that people should ask for. And in, in the media, unfortunately, there's been a lot of uh, incidences, we'll call it, especially in the States, where people are, are stenting too much. And it really comes down to why are you getting a stent? And I, I really want to talk there are some problems that can happen with stents and you know stents are not um, a treatment for heart disease uh, sorry it's not a cure for heart disease so it's not the best uh, it's kind of like a band-aid approach to a, a bigger problem and so you have coronary artery disease uh, if, if obviously you're looking for a stent so there's in my opinion I think there's three reasons why or three things that you should ask your doctor as to whether you need a stent and uh, explore all these options to make sure that you don't need a stent. First, if you're having an acute heart attack, I think stents are very important because it opens up the uh, artery and it allows blood to flow a lot smoother and it prevents death of uh, the uh, heart muscle. So if you're having a heart attack, that's absolutely a reason for having a heart stent. Number two is you know, you've got to ask yourself, are you having unstable angina? Well, if you're having, number one, if you're having a heart attack, you're obviously going to find yourself in the hospital, uh, in, in the emergency room. So um, you're not going to have, obviously, a discussion about whether you should have a stent. And really, a stent is probably going to be your best solution to obviously open up that artery as quick as possible, along with the uh, medical therapy that they give in emergency rooms. Uh, number two is, if you're having unstable angina, and unstable angina is, uh, well, you know, it could be that, or it could be what we call acute coronary syndrome, and uh, which is kind of a, a form of a heart attack, but not quite. But you know, if it's a medical emergency, absolutely. Um, you know, a stent is going to help out with that a medical uh, emergency side of things. If not, if you're having some angina that's unstable, um, th that's not a heart attack. Well, now it gives a chance to kind of look back and to see what's going on with that, and so. Uh, maybe uh, placing a stent is the solution or maybe medical therapy might be a better option uh, but if you're not having a heart attack um, then it's time to go back and kind of see what other options are available so medical therapy might be a better option for you here and the third thing is of course uh, if you're not having a heart attack and if you're not having unstable angina is what we call you're having stable angina stable angina is predictable it's happening uh, every time during a certain time of day or happens every time when you're doing something. Uh, for example, if you start to exercise and you start to get angina, that's what we call stable angina. It means that you're not having acute heart attack. It does not mean that you need to go to the hospital. Um, but here's where placing a stent is not necessary to do right away. And, and it really gives you time to think about uh, considering all your options as to what may be best available. And so if, if patients uh, are presented what we call stable coronary artery disease, that's actually kind of good. Obviously, it's not an emergency. Uh, this is where, you know, heart stent is, it, it's not going to, well, firstly, a heart stent is not going to um, prevent a heart attack, nor is it going to, uh, increase your life expectancy. So here's where medical therapy might be a better option and here's where cardiac rehab might be even a better option because you know medications are great but here's where obviously you want to stop smoking, you want to start to exercise. Uh, in my opinion as you can see from everything I talk about exercise is going to be your best medicine and uh, nutrition and uh, that's going to be important keeping stress under control and getting that right optical medical therapy and, and also um, you might want to look for even external counter pulsation at this point where that is a great treatment option to help patients um, you know instead of going for a heart stent and bypass and, you know unfortunately just being in this career long enough I, I've seen a lot of complications with stents and yes they're they do great things uh, from an acute basis, but on a, uh, on a what we call an elective level, I'm not sure that's the best option available and, and obviously exploring that option. Um, of course, I love to talk and I can talk all day long about this topic, but if you have any questions, feel free to uh, obviously contact me or comment me on the blog or contact me via sources at heartfitclinic.com um, and we look forward to helping with your heart health. Here's to your heart health. Live happier, healthier, and longer.